Welcome to another episode of Vet Talk. I'm Brother Vince. I'm an Army veteran. And today we're going to talk about the 2023 veterans pension rate. But before we get into that, please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell. You can find more content from Vet Talk on YouTube, Twitter, LinkedIn, and Reddit for more content. And to all veterans who would love to share your stories or resources for veterans and non-veterans who would love to share your resources, please feel free to contact me ASAP so we can schedule a meeting. So today, our topic again is about the 2023 veterans pension rate. And what I want you to know that is if you're a wartime veteran who is 65 years or older and have limited income, you may be eligible for a VA pension. This benefit is available even if you're not disabled. Additionally, if you're unable to work, you may also qualify for the veteran disability pension or the veteran's pension. Contact the VA to learn more about your eligibility and how to apply for these benefits. So what I wanna do is I wanna share my screen with you so that we can actually look at the eligibility requirements for those who qualify. So right here it shows what you need to do as far as being a veteran who's eligible for the veteran's pension. You may qualify for a veteran's pension if you were discharged from service under other than honorable conditions. So what that means is as long as you have other than honorable conditions and above, you're entitled to this benefits. If you have a dishonorable discharge, then you're not eligible. You serve 90 days or more of active duty with at least one day during a period of wartime, or you're permanently disabled and totally disabled or are age 65 you must also have limited income and a limited net worth or assets to qualify for a VA pension. Net worth includes yours and your spouse's asset and annual income. When applying for veteran pension benefits, you need to report all of these assets and income. The 2022 asset limit for VA pension is $138,489. The VA pension income limit effective December 1, 2022. If you're a veteran, a veteran with no dependents, your annual income must be less than with a dependent $16,037. So if you're a veteran with a spouse or child, your income has to be less than $21,001. Homebound veteran with no dependents, it has to be $18,598. If you're a homebound veteran with one dependent, it has to be $24,562. If you're a veteran who needs aids and attendant and has no dependents, it has to be $26,752. Veterans who need aid and attendance and has only one dependent, that's $31,714. Two veterans married to each other has to be $21,001. Add for each additional child to any category above would be $2,743. So with all of the categories above, you just add $2,000 to that, and that would be your yearly income rate, which, you know, it has to be less than that per VA. Some income is not counted towards the yearly limit. For example, welfare benefits, some wages earned by dependent children, or supplemental Social Security income. It is also important to note that your medical-related expenses are considered when determining your yearly family income. VA payment rates. The VA pays you the difference between your accountable family income and your yearly income limit, which describes your situation. See the chart above. So the chart that we just went over, that's the chart that they're talking about. The difference is generally paid in 12 equal monthly payments rounded down to the nearest dollar. VA pension payment example. Joe, a single veteran, has an annual income of $5,000 and no assets. His annual income limit is $16,037. To determine Joe's pension subtracts his annual income of $5,000 from the $16,000 $37 income limit, which gives him an annual pension rate of $11,037. This translates into a monthly pension check of approximately $975.
So for someone who's single, who numbers look just like Joe, this is what you will be making monthly. And it says apply for veteran pension benefits here. So you can go right here and click on the VA website where you can actually apply for the VA pension for veterans. So I just really wanted to show you that real quick. So this has been another episode with your boy, Brother Vince from Vet Talk. As always, Vet Talk out.